or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is the Booth Game, welcome to another Death Battle Reaction. Well, take the re reaction I meant, well, welcome to another Death Battle. So, this is Natsu vs. In Inchigo. I, I don't think I pronounced that right, but I watched the results of those two, and I voted for, well, I don't know both of them. I heard about not nerd Nacho. I heard about him a lot. Well, I seen him a lot in images and videos and everything. You know, I didn't watch the videos anyways. So I voted for Inchigo and Chaco. Uh, yeah, I voted for them. So, anyways. Let's watch this fight. <sighs> I pressed I pressed the button, the F A button. I pressed it by accident and it stopped. It stopped the recording. I pressed it by accident. I was meant to play the video. <laughs> My bad. Okay, let's watch it. <laughs> oh boy. You might be a little bit laggy for the video. What's that energy? Is that a hollow? Naruto, I sense a presence. Naruto, wake up. Oh, shit. Huh? Whoa, he's invisible! You can't see me? Good. But he can hear you. Running, coward! Not at all. Keep moving. I'll direct you. You're dead. Yeah. Hell, the heck! I see you. My nest in notifications. Ketsuya! Ketsuya! He changed his form. So now he has a certain form. You think that's gonna fool him? Yo, not bad, but I'm still gonna beat your ass. Really? Ah! Give me a freaking break. <sighs> no. Is that the best you can do? My vote was wrong. Even without his powers, Ichigo never gave up. What a badass. 
Sorry, Wait. Bleach fans, I know you all really wanted a win, but unfortunately, this wasn't it. Naruto had better Go training, a broader back. arsenal, and a better healing pack. Wait, no, not that spot. Not that spot. <laughs> oh, not, not when he fishes him off. Ichigo never gave up. Why is what there a, a Chuck Norris in that guy? And they're fighting again. They Sorry, back? Bleach fans. I know you all really wanted a win, but unfortunately, this wasn't it. Naruto had better training, a broader arsenal, and a better healing factor. And Ichigo's invisible ghost buddy oh, didn't yeah, really yeah, matter. Really. Shinigami may be invisible, but they're still present in the physical realm and can be touched by normal people. Kurama can locate individuals by simply sensing their emotions, and Naruto's even seen his own soul before. And with six uh, paths power, he could see and fight Madara's uh, limbo clones, even uh, though they were okay. on a totally separate plane of existence. Also keep okay. in mind that while Chakra and Reishi see, have fairly yeah. different uses, they both contain spirit. Well, not a fan of these Let's two characters. Just, Naruto can dodge light speed attacks and can move faster than lightning. A lightning bolt's return stroke is 220 million so miles per hour, person. about one third the speed of light. Ichigo has also displayed lightning fast speeds, and even greater. Near the end of the series, Ichigo took a trip that should have taken 7 days, but instead took 9 hours and 15 minutes. It's likely Kuriji here was referencing his accomplice's speed, like Ichibe, who can knock his foes 2,440 miles away and appear next to him in a second. You watch guy beat him by going twice as fast. So we'll use that as Ichibe's limit. With that, we can get the trip's total distance and conclude Ichigo's top speed is 319 million miles per hour. That's massively hypersonic, but not quite light speed. Still, there's a difference between travel speed and reaction okay. speed, as Naruto's already shown. Comparing them directly, Ichigo's best reaction should clock in at around 970 million miles per hour, 40% faster than light speed and Naruto's reaction time. All right, point for Ichigo. Speed alone wasn't enough, though, especially since Naruto's sage powers gave him superb field awareness, making it difficult for Ichigo to land a fatal blow. If he could even land something fatal at all. Ichigo has always had a tough time damaging foes who have stronger spiritual energy than him. With that said, let's compare his Ryatsu to Naruto's chakra. Bad news is, across both of them, the only multiplier we know for sure is Ichigo's times 10 Bankai. The times 10 is difficult to achieve, but for Ichigo's sake, let's assume he gets the maximum possible boost from every transformation. His other forms likely don't boost his stats this much. For example, when he used his Hollow Mask to barely overpower an Aran car, the situation and its results were similar to his then comparable Shinigami friends releasing their limiters, which gave each of them a boost of times 5. However, let's give the benefit of the doubt and apply the maximum times 10 increase to all of Ichigo's forms that clearly increased his fighting potential, as well as stack them even though many forms were in separate unconnected power sets. For the sake of argument, we're deliberately overestimating Ichigo's power. You'll see why. So here's our formula, but where do we start? Okay, Bankai Ichigo with his Hollow Mask was on par with Ukiora's first transformation, correct? Well, nearly. Ukiora states his new form can destroy the city of Las Noches in the hollow world of Cueco Mundo. That is noise What's that, like noises. Mexican no. hell? Well, three, there is a wall. Three people <laughs> shows, so. Las three Noches ones, is yeah. square in shape and takes three days to walk from one corner to a gate in the center of the wall. So it There's has a total area of 200,000 square miles. That's bigger than California, and destroying it in one go needs over 400,000 megatons of TNT. So plug that into the formula, and there you have it. Ichigo's Reatsu is equal to over 440 billion megatons of TNT. Jesus Thankfully, Christ. Naruto's chakra level is oh much God. easier to figure out. His chakra was once extracted and burst a hole through the hollow moon. He survived the explosion, and it was this explicitly said that this was nearly all of his chakra. Most of his chakra has been siphoned off. This is the most By measuring the aftermath from both sides, we found the blast to equal at least 480 billion megatons of TNT. 40 billion more than Ichigo. And don't forget, we were deliberately overestimating him. Also, this was base form Naruto, not including any increases from additional modes, which allowed him to block an attack that cut the moon in half, a done. force that had to be over 27 trillion megatons. They're wrong. They're this proves Naruto can both output and survive a blast stronger than Ichigo is capable of. If you're thinking, wait, Boomstick, Ichigo survived a black hole in a box. That move doesn't really work like a black hole. Plus, the 814 kiloton Frager Blast did hurt him immediately after, so it must have been weaker than that. 
But whiz, weren't Kaguya and you Waka Waka planet busters? Don't they scale to them? Nope. Kaguya's planet busting attack required chakra from nearly the entire Earth's population, not just her own. And while Yuwak's power was pretty OP, he couldn't destroy the world through his own destructive capability. He only planned to manipulate the delicate balance between life and death by stopping the flow of souls. Like a plate spinning on a stick, if one side gets too heavy, the whole thing comes crashing down. Yeah. To sum it up, Ichigo had the speed, they both had the guts, and Naruto had the strength, durability, training, and abilities for days. Naruto sure got the shonen jump on Ichigo. Yep, the winner did. is Naruto Uzumaki. Good job, not to not the taro stick around we're about to announce the combatants for the next death battle what's the and next death watch battle commentary on this episode click that little box over there and start a first membership trial that smoking right, bear was nick too. griff or something and watch huh? batman beyond versus spider-man 2099 Batman Beyond vs. Spider-Man 2099. Wow. That is gonna be an interesting battle. When I was saying, everyone's gonna be all over it. Everyone's, everyone's gonna keep talking about it all the time. Like, I don't know what they would say, but oh my god. Okay, so that was the title of this actual death battle. The title wins this one, and the next battle will be Batman Beyond versus Spider-Man 2099. This is probably the most insane anime fight I ever seen. Yes. Even the show itself, it's, it's really insane. <laughs> oh, it's an anime. Anime is... Some anime shows are really insane. So I'm just, like... Fine. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Thanks so, thank you all so much for watching. Like, if you like this video, comment, subscribe. Wrong, you and on. I'll see you all in the next, in the next video. Bye-bye.